Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday's Witness. I'm here with Steve. We're talking about evangelism. Our scripture, very interesting, is from Romans 12, 11, which says this, do not be slothful in zeal, but be fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. To be slothful in zeal. In other words, to get to the place where we're either lazy in our enthusiasm for the Lord. You were sharing a very simple illustration about a young man you encountered on Saturday when you were with your kids who was excited about a hot dog and the cost of it. And uh, so tell us about it, because I, I found it funny, but I also thought it interesting. Yeah, so well, I, I was at a wrestling tournament this Saturday, this past Saturday, and uh, towards the end of the tournament, there was a little young man running around the tournament with a hot dog, just excited, telling everyone that hot dogs were 50 cents each. They were two bucks originally. Mm -hmm. He's running around the tournament telling everyone, I'm like, wow, look at how excited and zealous and passionate this young man is about this good news. And I'm thinking, <laughs> that's inspiring me. I want to be equally as passionate and zealous about what I know to be the good news. People can kind of tell, can't they? What, what, what's important to us, what we value, uh, what really lights us up and motivates us in life. And if we appear that when it comes to the Lord, we're kind of disinterested, it's kind of mundane, routine, boring, we're kind of indifferent to it, they can tell. But when you meet someone who's zealous about the Lord and the things of the Lord and the things of the kingdom and sharing their faith or whatever, it really does get your attention, doesn't it? And uh, so anyway, so you're at this other place. Tell us about that experience. So because I was inspired, I'm sharing with um, colleagues of mine and just other people I come in contact with. I'm inviting them to church. I'm excited that we are studying Old Testament. I'm excited that I have an upcoming baptism that I'll be able to participate in. So for cool. me to communicate this good news, it's going to hopefully get some of these people to come to church. So I was... I was really just praying a lot this entire past week about God give me opportunities to share this good news. And just the other day, as I'm at the gym, I'm just praying for God to open up a door, just give me a, another person I might have rubbed shoulders with, had past conversations with, to share this good news with. And I'm on this elliptical machine, and shortly before I'm getting ready to leave, a person I know comes in and steps up on a uh, stair stepper just two over from me. We start to conversate. Uh, they were talking about how exhausted they were mentally from going to school and how they have an upcoming exam and that they just are praying that they do good on it. Oh, that's a key word, isn't it? Yes. Huh. So I look for those little bridges of how to, again, transfer that secular conversation maybe to a spiritual conversation. So I said, speaking of praying, what are you doing this Sunday, specifically in the morning? They knew where I was coming from. We've had conversations in the past, and last week we talked about forming relationships in a short period of time. It can happen that way. And sometimes um, you wind up connecting with that other person in a shorter period of time or sooner than later. And the next thing you know is, it reinvites you to pick back up in that last conversation you had. Yeah. So, as I was telling this person good news, um, I said, you studying Judaism. Right mm. now, my pastor is starting to walk through the Old Testament book of 1 Samuel. I think you'll find it extremely interesting how the Old Testament connects to the New Testament. And I got a big grin and smile. I said, you would hmm. love to see how my pastor expresses truth um, in a dynamic way. And because I was excited, because I'm passionate, because it's real, hmm. they fed off of that. And I said, and by the way, I'll be also participating in a baptism. I'd love for you to be able to witness this. I said, would you like directions? I said, absolutely. So I gave them directions. I gave them the time, all the information that they could have possibly needed. And they said, most likely they're going to be there. Well, just making a connection, being enthusiastic about what you're sharing. And then ultimately we know God is working because ultimately this is about God seeking and saving those who are lost. Jesus has gone, but he sent his spirit, and we continue the mission that he came to fulfill, and he does it through us. And so we're always seeking and trusting him to save those who are lost. And so here's another divine appointment. 
and I, I commend you for making the most of it and inspiring us to make the most of the appointments that God gives us. They're there before us, a people that we'll interact with that perhaps it might lead to a spiritual conversation, an invitation to church, an opportunity to present the good news of the gospel. So today, this week, let's be on mission. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's pray. So Lord, inspire us to be zealous, to love you with such a passion that that enthusiasm spills over in our conversations, through our countenance, in the ways we relate to people, and through that, open doors for the gospel. Use us today, we pray. Now you continue. God bless you.